Well, from the water crisis to what it takes for HBCUs to thrive, the National Association of Black Journalists, Region 3 members will gather right here in Jackson this week to use their voices to help communities tread above water. Above water, navigating your journalism career is the theme of this year's conference. And Jimmy Gates is the president of the Jackson Association of Black Journalists. He's here to talk to us more about it. First off, Jimmy, good to see you again, and uh, thank you for taking time to talk to us. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure, Howard. Great, to, happy to be with you. Thank and you. Now, now yes, I wanted. A, yeah, I was just going to say, tell us a little bit about what we can expect at this year's conference. However, we have a great conference scheduled this time around. This will be the first time in 30 years that the National Association of Black Journalists Region 3 Conference will be here in Jackson. The last time we had a conference here was in 1997. So what, what we're looking forward to is bringing more than 300 journalists and 300 to Jackson, you know, to see firsthand this city, you know, get a feel for it. We have a great schedule of programs for journalists coming here as well as students from historical black colleges and other colleges. So it's just an overall great program. We have workshops both Friday and Saturday, especially on Saturday here in Jackson. We have programs all day, including workshops on, on you know, what it takes to help journalists, you know, tread above water. And we have workshops on financial aspects of journalism. We also had emerging technology dealing with AI, artificial intelligence. That's way up. Now, give us expand a little bit on the theme of this year's conference. It's called "Above Water: Navigating Your Journalism Career." Why? Why did you choose that? Uh, the National Association of Black Journalists, you know, in conjunction with the local chapter, you thought that would be appropriate because on Friday, you know, we're having as part of this conference a town hall meeting dealing with the water crisis that was here in Jackson. And one thing about that is we will have an official former mayor of Flint, Michigan as well. And what this will do is allow firsthand for journalists across the southeastern region to be able to learn about the crisis that was here, the water crisis that was in Flint. Because what we're seeing is that across the country, we're seeing, you know, aging infrastructure, especially as it comes to water, you know, the water systems across the country. And we're figuring that, you know, this may be a subject that is here in Jackson now, you know, it's been in Flint, you know, even though Flint is a little bit different than the situation in Jackson, but it's situations that we expect to continue to see across the country. Yeah, real quickly now, I'm going to be, uh, I'm proud and honored to be the moderator for that event. Uh, and I know the public has invited the community to come out and uh, take part in this. Uh, give us a location for that. And also, how can you register for the conference uh, so you can attend? The town hall meeting will be this Friday at 6 p.m. at the Mississippi East Center at Jackson State University uh, on the campus there. And that is at 1230 Raymond Road here in Jackson. It's part of Jackson State University. It's sort of separate from the main campus, but it's part of JSU. And what we can do, what anyone can do who want to register, they can go on to www.nabj.org to register, look for the conference registration for the NABJ Region 3. It's on there. The cost for members of the, the local chapter at NABJ is $50 for nine members. The fee is one hundred dollars on the day. If you wait to the day of the event to do it, it's one hundred dollars. With that seventy-five or one hundred dollars, you know you get the full aspect of the conference, including you know it, all programs that we have, including you know we're having receptions. The schedule, the initial reception will be at the mm -hmm. at the two Mississippi museums. So all those events will be free, and every workshop we have, as well as the let me say this, we also will have a job fair there and several local organizations, you know, including, you know, WLBT, Great TV sure. will be there. It's a great uh, opportunity to network as well as an opportunity to hopefully maybe even find a job for someone who's Absolutely. looking. Absolutely. Jimmy Gates, thank you so very much for talking with us. Hope it's a record-breaking turnout. Jimmy Gates, president of the Jackson Association of Black Journalists. You have a good one, sir. Thank you, Howard.
Always great to talk to you. Absolutely.